Greetings again, mortal. Well done. I can use the paddle to create an elixir for the army. He needs only to drink this. If it indeed frees him from the curse, he may leave. And I will finally have hope of saving Ulcerund from the Narka. Administer the potion to the Almine. Hopefully, it'll free him of the curse, and we can begin to heal Ulcerund of the Narka affliction. We have waited long for the champion to return. You've returned. Will the Fey allow me to leave? This place is as foreign to me as my Fey captors. There's nothing here except the lethal wildlife and a scorching sun above. And all the Fey we could ever hope to meet. Blasted, I'd leave right now if I could. They keep talking about how I can't leave until I'm free of the Narka affliction. You saw my wife. Thank goodness she's all right. I bet she'd wait out there for a decade if she had to. I hope I won't be stuck here for that long. My wife and I were just passing through Ulceron. We lost our way trying to get to the Red Marches when I grew ill. The next thing I know, I have a burning fever, and when I stop to catch my breath, the Fey ambushed us. They'll let me go if this works. Fine. I'll drink anything at this point. I... I can feel the curse leaving me. I, I'm not just saying that so I can leave. It, it, it's like a fever's breaking. I should get back to my wife. Thank you again, and farewell. That was impressive. Our success with the Almain bears great portent for Alcerund. If a mortal can be cured, then maybe a Fey can as well. I believe that you could survive a journey through the Fellfire Pit. Will you help us with another task? Alcerund is among the last Fey lands untouched by mortal civilization, but it is not without its difficulties. Some of our brethren have fallen to a curse that renders them feral and frenzied. My brethren and I make up the Circle of Engar. We seek to restore the Fey rites lost when the mortals took the House of Valor. The Circle is holding vigil, waiting for the champion to return. We wish to repeat our success with the Almain at a much grander scale. To do this, we require the essence of another plant, this time from the Fellfire Pit. The pit is located at the base of the great spine of Alcerund. The flower, the Fellfire Bloom, rests there. The only plant that grows in the pit. Excellent. Then head to the Failfire Pit, where the Guardian of the Bloom awaits. We have waited long for the champion to return. We've wasted.
When the armies of Ulm subsided, the Sealy returned to the land, and the House of Valor was forever changed. The conflict of the cycle waned, and the Fae now embodied the peace of the Endar no longer fought, but without purpose. The great fight was turned to the end. Seasons passed. A mortal defeated the Council of Valor. His name was Faroth Magnus.
Excellent. You have my thanks, child. Now we can use the power of the Fellfire Bloom to begin the removal of this curse from our lands. We will, however, require your services once more to accomplish this. Will you aid us again? Seek an audience with the keepers of the crossing, and then administer the sample of Felfire Bloom to the heart of this land. With luck, you will free this entire region from the Naga affliction. Very well. Defeat Pura, and she will give you the Amulet of the Sun. Take the amulet to the keepers at Keralatha, and they will allow you to pass. At the bottom of Keralatha, you'll find the Font of the Crossing. Place the sample of Fellfire Bloom atop it. Go to the Crown of the Sun, where Pura trains replacement keepers, and challenge her to battle. Only if you defeat her will she grant you the Amulet of the Sun, which you will require to enter the crossing. Then delve into the depths of Keralatha and find the crossing. Place the sample of Fellfire Bloom atop the altar at its center. If our theory is correct, your help in this matter will finally free... Huh! <laughs> 
child of dust. What brings you to the crown of the sun? The desert is unkind to mortals. Alserund is the last bastion of the Fae and Detir. One of the few places in these desert lands where we are plentiful. I do not wish to speak to you about Fae affairs, mortal. This place is older than your mind can grasp, and it will remain long after you are gone. They are Summer Fay, but their minds have been altered. They attack any who travel the sands, be they mortal or Fay. I am the Guardian of the Crown of the Sun. It is my role to watch this sacred place and see to the safety of the Keepers in training. Florian at the Circle sent you to access the crossing? It is highly unusual for a mortal to invoke a Fey Rite, but your aura is most unlike a mortal's. Very well. Prepare yourself. Well done. You are a skilled combatant. It's no wonder you've earned the respect of Florian and his circle. The Amulet of the Sun is yours, and with it your right to descend to the crossing. Jagged cliffs, angles meeting the swollen sea, treacherous to the ungainly Alfar, was the homeland our people took. I have seen the places upon the hillside our ancestors forged from sea sculpted stone. Near Rathlin, the bluffs of Trilly were settled near the light of the heavens that glittered brightest, gazing towards Lyria's teardrop, the earth steeple rising to meet her magnificence.
Welcome to Keralatha, mortal. We have not had visitors in a very long time. What do you seek? It is no accident that Keralatha is a place of great spiritual confluence. The crossing's flow of energy has influenced the landscape, shaped it as the ancients once did. Halcyor is my companion, and a revelation. I never in my lives spoke to a summer fay, yet now I see that winter and summer are not so different. Always dear Pura has stood vigil at the Circle of the Sun, awaiting the new keepers to give them direction. It was she who led Halcyor and myself to the crossing when we first arrived in Amalur. It is a nexus of energies, a place where magic flows infinitely. There are few such places on Amalur, and the Keepers are tasked with protecting them. The Keepers live to prevent use of the crossing by either Fey Empire. Its power is such that both Summer and Winter Fey have agreed to leave its power unharnessed. Yes, I am Winterfey and Halcyor is Summerfey. That is the nature of the crossing. A representative from both courts remains here for balance. I always distrusted the Summerfey, but it is difficult to distrust your only companion. Over the centuries, Halcyor and I have grown to rely on one another. To deal with the Narca Curse. If Pura has given you the means to pass, then do so. You should seek out Halcyor. He will assist you in this. It is where the replacement keepers go to prepare for their work at the crossing. When it is time for them to assume their posts, they enter into combat with Pura, as you did. If they survive, she brings them here, as she did with us. She is the guardian of the Crown of the Sun, and a powerful sorceress. But you have defeated her. It is no wonder Florian and the others of the House of Valor have come to place their trust in you. We Keepers routinely delve into the depths of Keralatha to make minute adjustments to the crossing, ensuring its power remains under control. Find the crossing. And Halcyor will undoubtedly be nearby. Take caution in these lands, mortal. Your kind is particularly susceptible to its dangers.
should feel privileged. The crossing is not a place of mortal business. You are the first to come this far. That essence of the Fellfire Bloom is meant for the crossing, yes? To cure this region of the Narker curse. I will not allow it. Florian, in all his wisdom, does not see what I see. Perish. I cannot allow you to interfere further. The Circle of Engard must endure my curse for as long as it takes to end this long winter. Fare you well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
Alcir's devotion to his king and court was more powerful than our friendship. That he would compromise his own kind to end the long winter is deeply unsettling. Perhaps in the end, he'd become Narka himself. You have my thanks. Please, take these. They are imbued with fey magic, and should aid you wherever you may go. I serve the Unseely Court. I was chosen to guard the crossing as the crossing has changed. I can feel it. But whether it undid the damage Halcyor inflicted remains to be seen. Return to Florian and report what transpired. Take caution in these lands, mortal. Your kind is particularly susceptible. Things again. I can feel a change in the air. The taint of the Naka curse is rapidly dissipating. Shame it was caused by one of the Sealy's own. The Circle and I will take our leave. A small number of Naka will undoubtedly remain. We will reclaim our brethren and defeat what Naka left. Thanks to you, perhaps Alcerund will recover from the Naka after all.